Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the workshop and found it useful. Um, I think many of us feel that our pronunciation isn't always perfect. I, I still suffer from an inferiority complex with my regional accent. I do hope I'm speaking clearly enough for you to understand me. If I am, then that's the criterion that we want to reach and that's what we want from your learners. We're not asking for perfection, but that they can be more clearly understood. Um, I hope that we've shown how important pronunciation is in the context of the Common European Framework and therefore Sitting Guild's International Spoken ESOL. Don't forget that the Common European Framework gives double weighting to speaking skills. We have spoken production and spoken interaction and pronunciation is an obvious feature of these skills. Um, I think we also saw that in the four parts of the spoken ESOL test, pronunciation isn't necessarily exactly the same. In part one, clear pronunciation, spelling of name, giving factual detail is very important at single sound level. In part two, where the candidate and interlocutor role play situations, stress and intonation play an important part in conveying the overall message. In part three, where the candidate and interlocutor exchange opinions and facts, pronunciation again needs to be clear enough to be readily understood. Part four, the long term, gives the candidate the opportunity to string together um, not just simple utterances, but to put together clauses, sentences, extended utterances, and also to be more persuasive in an argument, to be more interesting in a narrative or description, and to communicate the message effectively. Level, as we saw, is a vital part of the assessment and of the teaching of pronunciation. We do expect somebody who's described as a B2 communicator to be able to communicate effectively. I think if we're looking at a level called preliminary or access, we would naturally be much more sympathetic to pronunciation difficulties. After all, we're talking about international spoken English for speakers of other languages. There's no shame in having a national or regional accent. It's perfectly natural. What matters is that people communicate the message effectively. I hope we've also shown that as assessors, we do make an effort to understand what people are saying, that we do tune in. Sometimes in part one of the test, a candidate is nervous. Sometimes we as assessors are still actually tuning in to their delivery. Do tell your students not to panic, not to worry about the pronunciation. We will tune in as they go along. Uh, I hope that for you, as for me, the most important thing is not looking at the theories and the arguments about pronunciation. We can all have different views on should people read aloud, I have discussions about this constantly, but I hope the most important thing, and what we can agree on, is that teaching and learning pronunciation must be fun. And if some of the games that my colleagues have shared with me and allowed me to share with you have been fun for you, then they will surely be fun for your learners. You have got support, don't forget. You have got support in the teaching support materials. Um, the spoken ESOL books are there with a focus on pronunciation as well as on accuracy, range and fluency to help you help your learners to learn. Don't forget also that pronunciation is one essential part of success. But as we saw, pronunciation like range, like accuracy, like fluency, is only one quarter of the equation which makes up successful communication. So please do work with um, a focus on pronunciation. I hope some of the ideas that we've given you will help you to do that. And do remind your learners that what we as assessors need is to understand clearly what is said. I do hope that was clear enough. Um, if you haven't seen the other workshops, don't forget we have got workshops for reading, writing, listening, and also for the sub-skills for the spoken ESOL tests. So, I hope you found this one useful, and if so, I hope to see you again. Bye for now.